Following a successful installation and calibration, all that is finally left is to fine tune JetTech ICC to perfectly match the air and fuel flow characteristics of your engine, carburetor, and exhaust combination. To achieve this, unlock the system and select a setup database. There are five available, and you can save individual setups in any of the five. Whichever one you select here, then the changes you make will be immediately saved to this setup for instant recall later. The default settings of JetTech ICC are a standard to set up for the VHSH carburetor, classic Del Auto racing carb. Select your spark plug type by clicking this button, either NGK or the Denso range. Having selected your needle from the drop down list of popular ICC needle types, also then select the number of clips you intend to use. You can modify this later if you wish using JetTech Flowbench, uh, which individually adjusts the rates of change of the needle clip and the main jet with air density but more of this later. Having first located your temperature and humidity sensor approximately six inches above ground level in the shade so that it always replicates the actual air temperature and humidity that will enter your engine in racing conditions then refer to your barometer and enter the current ambient weather condition. Now as you can see at the default settings with a 266 needle jet the K22 needle with four clips in use and the 45 idle jet in your carburetor then the recommended main jet is a 170. Just before we start to get into the detail of this tutorial you should have first measured your uh, float height and entered the float weight here. Float heights are measured in a fashion similar to this with the carburetor float ball removed and the carburetor inverted and the measurement is made to either the top of the float in the case of the double float arrangement such as this or in the case of the single float arrangement uh, then to the top of the float lever arm. Having measured your particular setup enter it in this drop down list here. Standard float height for the Del Auto range of racing carburetors is 6 millimeters. I personally prefer a 3 millimeter float height measurement but whatever your measurement is of your particular carburetor enter it here in this menu. Now having completed this initial setup and don't forget to make a note that we are using setup number one for this fine tuning process. Place uh, the needle clip at P3 and leave it there for the purposes of this initial main jet calibration and just change the main jet to find the optimum. Install the 170 main jet and go out and complete 10 laps at racing speed. On returning to your pit examine the top of the piston, the spark plug and the exhaust header for colour and determine whether indeed you are rich or weak at this 170 setting. It is likely that you will be rich, however that may not be the case and will depend entirely on your individual fuel and airflow characteristics and of course the state of tune of your particular ICC motor. Whichever the case, either dial down the main jet to the next 
weakest setting by using this control and as you can see the main jet factor is now 492 which gives a setting at, at these weather conditions of 168. Install the 168 jet in your carburetor and go out and complete another 10 lap session. Again return into your pit and inspect the piston crown, exhaust header and spark plug for colour and of course consider the performance of the cart out on the track. Repeat this process methodically either going weaker one jet or richer one jet to determine the ideal jetting factor for your particular carburetor. When this has been determined you then complete another series of track sessions and establish the needle clip factor which is selected here. And as you can see by adjusting this you can either select a richer needle clip position or a weaker needle clip position by reducing the factor. Always remember to enter the current weather conditions before you adjust the jetting factor to determine the optimum. You will notice also that from time to time the and washer message is displayed here. Now this simply if your particular regulations allow the use of the washer then this is a Del Auto part available from your dealer which is exactly half the thickness of the distance between the needle clip notches on the needle. So effectively either by placing the washer under the needle clip or on top of the needle clip you are essentially able to accurately adjust the needle clip position to half clip positions. Such is the accuracy of JetTech ICC. Having completed the main jet jetting factor and the needle factor adjustments you will have optimized your particular carburetor settings and these are of course have been saved under setup number one. Now if you had another carburetor available to use then you would simply select number two and repeat the same process fine tuning for that particular carburetor. Let's reselect number one which you have optimized over a number of track sessions. Now next time you return to the track you would simply enter the current weather conditions into the software from your barometer and the optimum needle clip position and main jet would be displayed.